Welcome back to the channel guys, I'm Justin Green and if it's your first time here, you may want to consider subscribing because we do some pretty cool things here on the channel like today we're wearing beach wear for no reason. Even though I live in Northeast Tennessee in the mountains, I can wish I'm in the beach because that's where I'll be in two days. So uh, just let me be guys, let me be. So let me fill you guys in. I got two days, two days. You see this? I'll be at the beach. Today is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then we leave on Saturday. So technically I guess that's three days. I am from Northeast Tennessee, so I can't count too great. I want to be at the beach so bad. I'm well overdue for a vacation. A lot of stress, a lot of things. I'm just ready to relax, kick back, and have a good time. So I come home today. Put on my uh, my new beach hat, straw hat, which I will say I uh, mowed and weed eated in this thing today, and it worked out amazing. Kept the sun off of my neck and my my shoulders there. Uh, but anyways, I've been putting my beach stuff on, wearing my swimming trunks. I mean, you know, getting in the mindset of vacation because I've got two days of work left, and if I can just slide on through those two, I got it licked for a whole week. So bear with me, guys. Yeah. Today we're actually going to be talking about budget lighting for a studio setting like what you see here now. Um, you guys know I've got the new studio here. We've been gradually doing things, building tables, building shelves. I've been installing uh, LED lights. i got a nice little salt lamp here now to kind of contrast with the blue LED. But I'm trying to build my studio to give you guys a better quality channel, better quality videos. So I'm hoping... If you guys are watching this right now, you can go back to my older videos where I'm in this studio and you can kind of see a little bit of a quality change. You should see a lot better quality video because I have proper lighting now. Um, but that's what we're talking about. We're talking about Amazon budget lighting and specifically the kit that I bought today. So let's go ahead and then we'll dive down, check them out, show you what's in the box, and we'll decide whether these things are worth the money or not. So let's go do that. All right, guys. So yeah, basically today we're talking about uh, studio lighting. If you guys are into photography, videography, if you also have a YouTube channel or you're interested in starting a YouTube channel, but you're like me, you, uh, you, know, you work full time, to make ends meet, you've got a wife and a kid or multiple kids at home, and you just can't go out and buy a Aperture, you know, 120D, $600 light to put in here to use for videos. I wish I could go out and afford one of those, but I can't do it, so I have to piece and part my YouTube channel together. So I've actually come up with a budget Amazon lighting kit, and I have to say, uh, for the money, this thing is, is pretty legit. Um, so what we're gonna do right now is, is we're gonna dive down. I'm gonna show you what comes in the box. Uh, we're gonna take a detailed look on how this stuff goes together. And um, yeah, we'll decide whether we think this is gonna be a great kit or not. So let's go ahead. Before we dig down into this thing, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys. I got this on Amazon. I'm gonna leave a link down below on my lighting and some of my other stuff that I have here uh, in my studio. If you guys decide you wanna purchase one of these, uh, click the link down below. I do get a little bit of a kickback from Amazon if you use my links um, And basically that just supports the channel and allows me to keep bringing you guys some more content So if you buy something I greatly greatly appreciate it. If not, hey, thanks for checking it out um, So this kit that I got is actually $60 on Amazon right now. It is a ESDDI. Check it out. They actually offer a bunch of different products. This was the kit that I decided to go with, and I'll show you why. So let's dig down and see what we got. Okay, first thing out of the bag, or out of the box, I should say, uh, I've grabbed this little uh, bag here. It's got a Velcro top on it, and what this actually is is going to be the soft box that goes on your light. So, this is actually going to fold out and be your soft box, which has a reflective interior in it. It does come with a power cord, which is fairly long. I wish it was longer, 
um, but then you also have your adapter here that is going to attach to the stand itself and then you also have a uh, you know a little softener here that softens the light up um, and makes this thing a soft box so that's what's going to give you that nice just even smooth light doesn't cast any harsh shadows anything like that I'm actually using one right now so I'm hoping you guys can see a pretty good quality difference in my lighting as opposed to just using um, this old light previously if you've seen me in this studio I've been using just this uh, hot shoe LED light I've been mounting this on my camera turning that on you can adjust the brightness but anyways I've been using this it says directly in front of me you get a real bad reflection off of my glasses this you don't really get a reflection unless I look up so it works out pretty good but this is what I have been using yeah it worked um, I'm not saying you got to go spend money on this stuff but for me I wanted to do a little bit better quality for you guys so I went ahead and done that so it comes with a, with a soft box and a dampener next in the box you're gonna pull out this big long box now this actually has your stand in it so we will get it out so here's your stand it is going to open up like a tripod this is gonna open up and then you are going to have your mounts on the top that is what the the actual reflector and the light box itself is gonna go on this and then you do have adjustments this thing can extend out I think pretty tall it's uh I'm wanting to think this one when I got it out and fully stood it up is gonna be probably close to seven foot so you can really get a nice light up above you even if you're standing up you can get one you know that's gonna be way up there and and cover whatever area you need right now I've got mine down pretty low because obviously I'm setting down next in the box is gonna be your bulbs and I'm just here to tell you I may be a little nerdy, but this is the biggest freaking LED bulb I have ever seen. So check this out. I mean, this thing is huge. Look at it compared to my head. I'm talking, what a lot. Anyways, <laughs> uh, as you can see, guys, they are branded ESDDI here on all their stuff. And this tells you a little bit about it. It is a 85 watt, 5500 K that's going to be your Kelvin that's the color you're going to get a real real solid white out of this a true white color uh, they do make some of these for the UK and America so the America Canada make sure you get the right kit don't buy a UK one that's made for 240 volts you want one that is a 110 130 volt for here or 50 slash 60 Hertz um, but yeah it's LED so it's not going to get real hot I'm reaching up here at this one it feels nice and cool so after you get all of that out you can start building these things and I will actually show you guys a view of what this one looks like uh, completely built and then also down in the bag we have a nice little case that holds everything and as you can see it is also branded ESDDI so um, for 60 bucks guys this this is a pretty amazing lot and I did I mention in that $60 price you get two of these lights so the one I just unboxed plus the one I'm actually currently using for this video so you get two light stands two uh, light soft boxes two of the damp light dampeners and two bulbs all for $60 so I could pay $600 and get an aperture and yeah it's controllable and you can dim it and stuff and it's probably a little bit truer of a light but in all reality for 60 bucks I could buy this kit 10 times and save what I'm gonna pay to, to go get that aperture yeah it's got its advantages it's got its disadvantages but for what I'm doing and if you're like me if you just can't afford to go buy all this crazy stuff I mean I've got five thousand dollars in the camera and the lens I'm using right now I can't afford to spend a lot of money on all this stuff at least all at one time so I have to kind of budget my kit together just like my my studio here i'm running a macbook i have a 32 inch uh, curved samsung i've had the samsung for quite a while i bought the macbook done everything off of it decided i wanted a big monitor so i went ahead and got the 32 inch and then i've just built everything the wood desk i built myself didn't cost me anything the shelves on my wall right here i've built those didn't cost me anything uh, I went to Walmart and bought this salt lamp which supposedly has health benefits I don't really buy that but 
it looks good on the desk. It fits the, the, the theme I'm trying to go with, the contrasted blue LEDs. I bought them for like nine bucks on Amazon, guys. I've got links for all this stuff down below. Once again, if you want to go there and support the channel, buy something from the link. I do get a kickback, and it helps me bring you guys more content and allows me to show you these awesome deals that Amazon offers. Um, but yeah, if you're like me and you just can't afford to go out and buy some of these things, Amazon is your hero. ESDDI, you are my hero today. Um, cue the Enrique Iglesias song there. I can be your hero, baby. But yeah, so I want your guys' opinion. Leave me a comment down below. Can you tell a difference in this setup versus what I was on my last video? Go check it out and see if you can tell a difference. Um, I can actually probably turn this off, turn my light on, show you guys what I was using before with just a regular room light, just a you know regular uh, halogen bulb up in the ceiling. So let me actually do that now. All right, so this is my, uh, my old setup. So as you can see, you don't see as much of the blue back here. Uh, the orange doesn't pop off on that. I've got a really ugly orange light coming down from the fixture in the room. And then once again, like I said, I'm using this LED thing and I've just been propping it up on my camera. So as you can see, it's a really harsh light, really ugly, as opposed to this, which is my new $60 dual light setup. So I can actually use this as a main light and set this other one up as a key light, kind of behind me a little bit, facing and, and giving a rim light. I could do all kinds of crazy setups, but right now I'm using one light here. It allows me to have this nice colors in the background because it's only putting light on me. It doesn't flood the whole room with light. It puts it on the subject and that's it. So uh, yeah, guys, I'm pretty stoked about it. I think it'll really help the channel out. Also, like I said, I do another hunting channel on YouTube, Hollow Ridge Outdoors. We do the green screen here in my studio and we really had some trouble with shadows uh, casting onto the green screen itself. This is really gonna help having this dual light set up. I can light me and my, my friend Heath as we're doing our host footage and then I can have the second ESDDI light casting uh, you know, on the green screen, eliminating all the shadows. So pretty stoked about it, guys. Um, that's all I got for you today. I just got this thing in. I was really excited about it. I wanted to shoot a video, of course, to see how the quality was so far. I'm really digging it. Um, but yeah, I appreciate y'all for tuning in today. I'm fixing to leave for the beach in two days, as you guys know already, and uh, try to shoot some sort of content while I'm there. Uh, if I get a chance, but I really just want to relax. So you may not get any content from here from the channel for maybe a week, two weeks, uh, but we'll get right back at it. I've got some stuff over here in the uh, studio. We actually want to update the studio. I may have another spot to shoot in here, so we'll kind of change things up on you guys from time to time. But yeah, we got plenty of stuff coming, so I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Like the video if you don't care. Give me a thumbs up. It really does help. It lets me know what kind of content to keep bringing you guys. Uh, be sure to share this for me on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, wherever. All the views I could get would definitely, definitely help me out as a small guy here on YouTube. And without further ado, guys, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. I'm going to get out of here and go to bed because i got to go to work two more days and then I'm out of here going to the beach. So I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Shh.